Matthew Weathers is a professor here at Biola um, who's kind of our YouTube celebrity. He's, he's uh, I think, did you get to 10 million? On, on Monday. So he now, his channel on YouTube has just broken 10 million hits. He, he makes uh, these, these amazing videos and I'm gonna ask him to share a couple with us this morning uh, as we kind of close here. And then maybe you also at some point then want to talk about what your session is going to be about today. Okay. All right, yeah. so I'm turning it over to Matthew. We welcome Matthew. Can I'll show you a little bit of some of the videos I've done for um, a class. I teach this class on campus, and I have fun playing tricks on them sometimes. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, sort of explain my thinking behind what I do for these little trick videos. They're, they're just for fun, but uh, they come out of my wondering about how the screen and real life interact with each other. Um, and so that's kind of the, the impetus behind these things. And I, I suppose since I'm, talking about, um, since I'm talking about the screen and how it interacts with real life, I should start off with the video. This sort of introduces uh, the topic here. Let's see. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Biola Digital. Actually, it's morning. Sorry about that. I meant to say morning there. Wait, what did you say? Oh, uh, it's oh, morning. I'm supposed to know it's morning. Uh, sorry, I didn't know. Uh, well, why, why don't you just start over? Um, that's OK. Fine. Go for it. OK, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to Biola Digital. And to those of you from out of town, Welcome to Southern California. I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. I'm sorry it's been a little bit overcast lately. Actually, it's been sunny recently, so... You know what? This is just not going to work. When you have video, it just doesn't work very well. So let's get rid of that. OK, so as you can see, um, the problem with video is that uh, it's not reactive. It can't, it's a one-way conversation. Uh, you can't be listening. Hey, that was kind of rude. Uh, well, yeah, that's kind of how you videos could work. Least, you could at least ask nicely. Fine. Will you please leave so I can okay. take over? Fine. That's better. Okay. All right. So, um, but obviously, video, the screen, intrudes in our lives sometimes. And so, oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's not my, does somebody have the same ringtone as me? So, uh, I'm not sure where that, sorry, oh. Sorry, mine. Oh. All right, I'm out of here for all right, all right. Um, so, <laughs> thanks. Um, that, that's just for fun to demonstrate what I'm talking about, how the screen can uh, interact with real life. And also um, talk about how, what, what is the, we're seeing increasing time where people spend time in front of the screen, both uh, on mobile devices and on TVs and all, all different places. And so kind of that, those are the questions I was thinking about when I made some of these um, joke videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lead you through or, or play some clips of these uh, and sort of talk about what they are. I don't know this is back in 2009. Uh, I, I used to teach in a classroom where there, the screen was a little bit lower and there's this big desk right in front. And I'd been teaching there for several semesters and I would do things like show PowerPoints quite a bit, because I teach this math class that uh, I talk about the history of math, and I, I show you know, different interesting videos sometimes. And, and sometimes I actually put, um, film myself doing uh, math problems and, and make that available for my students. But over the years, I, I sort of thought of the idea, like what, what would it be like to interact with it more? Because I was already interacting with the screen. So there's the students, here's me teaching, here's the screen. And so I made, made this that sort of played with that idea some. So obviously I'm hiding behind the screen there. Okay, so let's see what we have if we start with this equation right here. <laughs> All right, so 
Um, so that was uh, the first thing I did, and I posted that on YouTube, and a bunch of people saw it, and they liked it. And so I thought, oh, I should do this again, um, again, some, or every semester. Well, I didn't think that. Everybody just sort of started assuming, you should do something this semester, since you did for <coughs> the other class. Um, so that, that is uh, kind of going from the screen into the real world. And so then I thought, oh, what other things could I do? Um, so here's another. Oh, you know what? This is the same one again. The, a few more seconds of the same one. I think. Yeah, OK. And so then this next one is um, another semester I did something similar. All right, so this one I thought, oh, what about going the opposite direction, um, having instead of the video, the video affecting real life, you know, the, the eraser coming out of the screen, what, what, if, what if we do the opposite direction, kind of, you'll see what I mean. Because they had been giving me trouble, so I'm like, forget it. This is when Windows 7 was brand new. I thought, let's go back to XP. So uh, that was, you know, kind of going the opposite direction, taking stuff from the video screen into the real life. Um, and then, okay, so then I thought, uh, one of the things that you see, I mean, even as I walk up here, you see that one, um, the problem with me walking in front of this screen, if they're recording this, is, because, is that there's content on the screen, but there's also me here, and then there's the, the uh, light on my face, and there's a shadow and stuff like that. So I thought I'd play with that idea some. <laughs> This type of three-dimensional interaction in Flatland surprises <laughs> surprises the square in a way that what's going on? Hey, I think he's just making fun of me. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, whoa. Hey, don't throw that away. Wait, 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 stop. What are you doing? He's messing up my whole computer here. I want you to stop that right now. Uh, he's going to cause all kinds of trouble. Wait, no, stop, stop. I don't know what he did. Here, let me reset it. Got, okay. Uh, he's going to mess up my computer. I've got to shut down this computer before he does anything. Um, we go to the camp. Wait, wait. Shut down. Shut down, shut down. Uh, hey, hey. Whoa. Whoa. What's he doing? i got to get help here. I'm going to press the help key. Uh, oh, I can get my laser pointer. Oops, I made it. Oops. Oh, oh hey, there we go. I got some help here. Hey, who are you? The there? students recognize oh, the profile. This is our president. Tell your students to have a happy Easter break, a great vacation, relax, enjoy yourself, you're dismissed. All right. Happy, uh, happy vacation. Okay, so that was, um, that was an April Fool's joke I did uh, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, and that was our president, Dr. Barry Corey, who agreed to do a cameo. I had to camp out upstairs outside of his office, and the, um, the, the people who were scheduling him said, all right, he has, he has about three minutes, because he's leaving from, uh, he has to get, he's leaving right at five, and 
and it was like two, the day before, or maybe two days before April Fool's, and I wanted to do this. This was the last day of class, happened to be April Fool's, but it also happened to be the last day of class right before everybody's leaving for spring break. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I posted that, and then um, AOL.com of all places ended up uh, featuring it on their front page, so I got about two million hits in two days um, shortly after April Fool's from that video, so that was kind of fun. Uh, let me, I, I don't no. remember what it is. Okay, so then I moved to this classroom, and I like the idea of breaking expectations because normally, when you're when you're looking at a screen like this, you're thinking we're looking. Um, what it's communicating is that you're looking at a computer screen, and that this is the browser, and that that's a video, and then that's all those things should stay within those confines, and so. I couldn't really hide behind the screen very well. I mean, obviously, well, we're in this room right now, right? If I, if I hid back here, you could sort of see me still, right? Um, so I, I tried to do something different. Um, and we were talking about, uh, I was doing something on complex numbers. So that here's a, a few clips from that, from that hey, time. Hey, nervous stand there. Could you just go hide somewhere? Wait, are you talking to me? Yes, you. Uh, just just like, get out of the way somewhere, because I don't want to see, but it makes what, me what nervous if I hide you here, here like, so. like this? Okay, good. Stay there. Thank you. Okay. As I was saying, complex numbers have an imaginary part and a. Hey, I see you there. Go away. And over there on the whiteboard, um, if you take a real number. I have, I'm holding a laser pointer. Number, then you end up with a complex number. So the laser now pointer the is coming thing over about here. Complex numbers is if you take a imaginary number like I, I. Hey, what's wrong with the connection? That last thing I said was really important. Let me rewind it again so you can see it. So if you take i times i, i squared, you end up with negative 1. So that's true for any of the imaginary numbers, because complex numbers are made up... Hey, what is this thing? I don't know what this is, but I don't know why this keeps happening. I'm just going to get rid of this, and so it won't happen again. Let me uh, let me move this over all the way to the. There we go. Now it won't. You know what? Wait a second here. Did you start me an Internet Explorer? What were you thinking? You know what? I got to start a better browser here. Let's let's see here. Okay. Much better. <laughs> hey, hey, excuse me. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be a distraction. Sorry about that. Um, actually, uh, you know what? Let me just exit out of this and then we can. All right, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, and then, um, then I posted this on April Fool's, too, and I ended the video with this. I said, oh, if you want to see. How YouTube, so the idea is the YouTube video is interacting with, the, with outside of the confines of the uh, browser. And so I said, if you want to see uh, uh, it interacting with real life right now, try this. Hold down Control and type W. Does anybody know what happens if you do that? Yeah, it closes the browser, right? So there's a YouTube video telling you to do something, and then it did something. And then I got, um, I, apparently hundreds of people did that from the comments. They're like, oh, it got me too, you know. So I was, I was uh, secretly gratified, quite, not secretly, I was quite gratified that they closed their browsers. But then, of course, they couldn't click and share it, so I don't know. Maybe it's a, <laughs> unless they go back. Um, anyway, uh, so the last one I'll show you is something I did last Thanksgiving. And I'm not going to show you the actual video. I'm going to show you it showed up on a media outlet. Um, and so they, they cut, uh, they did some clips. Most of these are about three or four minutes long. I didn't want to play the whole one for you right here. Um, but you can go look on my YouTube channel if you want to see the, all of them. And there's actually a couple I skipped because some of them are not as good. <laughs> my favorite one, I think, is the shadow one. I don't know why. It's just, I, I like those ideas where, where I'm grabbing something and, and moving it. Um, so. Anyway, in this one, I thought, I wonder what it would be like to toss something into the screen 
and also to grab things out of the screen. Um, and so I did something for Thanksgiving. But, and then this is my most proud moment. Not only did it show up on YouTube, but it showed up on a Japanese TV show, <laughs> which is awesome. This is kind of, this is my goal in life to make it on a Japanese. <laughs> so it's all in Japanese. Oh, so le um, listen for a couple words. Uh, Let's see, sensei, they call me sensei, which is awesome. That just means teacher. Um, and uh, they, they say California and screen, so you can listen for those Japanese words. They interviewed me over Skype also. A half an hour interview, and then they kept just like three words. You can raise the standards at the classroom. You can provide a better educational experience for the students by showing videos rather than just simply using the blackboard. Any. Share, share what you're going to do in your session today. Sure. So. Uh, I'm going to talk about living in a visually oriented culture, and I'm going to try and convince you that we do live in a visually oriented uh, culture, which nobody needs convincing of, and also the cultural implications of that. And I'm hoping to inspire you to go get involved and go do something. Go do something visual. It's not that hard. I'm going to spend about half the time talking about the culture and ideas, and then about um, half, half the time giving you some, some ideas of the tools that are out there. Yes, you had a question. Do you primarily use Camtasia? No, I, I did use Camtasia for what you just saw at the very beginning. Um, uh, the other things take quite a bit of work, like the shadow thing. You have to do rotoscoping, and you have to do um, the, some, some different masking, and, and where I reach outside, that kind of stuff. Um, so but I can't. Telling how you did that? Not, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be referencing the tools. Half an hour isn't, isn't okay. much time. But the other thing is that. Um, it's beyond my ability a little bit. Fortunately, we have a whole uh, building full of film students here at Biola, and so a couple film students have helped me with that. And actually, at the very end of our session, um, if there's uh, um, maybe 10 minutes, if, if some of you want to come along, or um, we're going to go over on a field trip and go take a look at the Biola's uh, production center for about 10 minutes at the end. And I know there's going to be this question, so I'll ask you now. What exactly, where exactly is that YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash? Slash MD Weathers. MD Weathers. So um, I know you guys are going to want to go uh. there. I, I'd encourage you to, in fact. Um, well, let's thank Matthew for uh, sharing with us that class. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.